been so much fun to watch. This little show that could is just blasting off, and uh, at least here, we're, we're, we're embracing it with wide open arms. audience response has been great, uh, the critics response has been great, um, we're just so excited about it. That's one of the most important things to us, that Nashvilleians are happy with Nashville the show. When I signed at this label, it was at the most rundown little house over there on Music Row. I mean, I feel like I built this company. You guys have done it the right way, and I couldn't be more proud of this show, and I, I hope, I'm sure you guys feel the same. Yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's been embraced here, but it's being embraced nationwide. Everywhere. People yeah. are really digging it. Be nice. Oh, I'm always nice. Oh, be extra nice. This benefits me how? It's not for you, it's for the label. We're all in love with the show. Thank you. Not so much in love with you right now. Really? I know. But that's okay, right? We're gonna learn to love you? Are you gonna love me a little bit? I love your singing. Take you and you leave. I don't need a sympathy. But she's a little damaged girl. How could you not have a little bit of art for her? All right, I've got a little pity for her. A little pity party. I wanted to meet Juliet Barnes. My mama was one of your biggest fans. She said she'd listen to you while I was still in her belly. Well, that is a charming story. It's really neat. In fact, for us who actually work here in the music business, it, to us, it is like watching reality TV. Oh, wow, it gets a little close to the bone yeah, sometimes. Yeah, a little bit. Huh? A little well, that's bit. what we're trying for. You. There's this idea of what the South is, what country music is, what the people in the South are, and it's not true. It's not true. It's not true. I've been calling it the real reality television. Right? It is. <laughs> it is. You got the wrong song coming through your speakers. This one's a bad I love how the music is so interwoven into the show. If I didn't know better. We knew how high everybody was aiming with the music and everything, but we wanted to see when it finally aired if Nashville itself would love it. Well, they're gonna put me on the TV. They're gonna make a big star out of me. How cool is the embrace of this show? It's unbelievable. It is especially it is in this town. The most outstanding part of the show is how people from Nashville, people in country music, have come up to us and gone, "Thank you for portraying us yeah. as we really are." You know, everyone had this like collective, "Oh no!" feeling like, "Is this is this show going to make us look?" You know, but everyone's been so supportive and, and and grateful for how it's turning out. That that means a lot. One idea is for you to co-headline with Juliet Barnes. Co oh, headline? She's the number one crossover artist in the country. Who goes on first? Yeah, no. We'll take you and you leave. We're excited enough to be working in Nashville, but to be working at the Rhyme and everyone's kind of <laughs> bubbling over. This is this is the epicenter of it all, so it's a special day. This is one of those great days as an actor, being here at the Ryman and, and playing this role. You know, it's, uh, I, I, I just, pinch myself that I get to do some of the things that I get to do. Just to be up there with so much history, it's an overwhelming thing to try to take in. You got the, wrong song. the music is such an important part of this show and for me has been um, one of the most challenging and exciting parts of the show. Um, uh, and then culminating sort of here in this place in this really um, venerated place. It's it's just uh it's it's really exciting. You got the wrong